Okay, first and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belongeth to my Lord and Saviour, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wahavakar Kwadash. And double honours to the elder apostles of Great Milson that teaches truth well and that continue to teach his truth well and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning across the globe. This ain't going to be a long lesson, it's going to be a quickie. I want to start off with um, Jeremiah 30 and I want to go straight to 11. For I am with thee, saith the Lord Jehovah So Jehovah Shai is with his men, beginning with the elect. And I want to keep it humble, hopeful elect. Okay. To save thee. So Yahweh is going to save a certain remnant, which consists of the 144,000 men, women, and children. Though, I'm, though I will make a full end of all the nations, whether I have scattered thee, yet will I not make a full end of thee. So Yahweh is going to make end of all the other nations that scatter thee. Okay. Especially Esau. Okay, Esau's going to be done away with after them thousand years of slavery. Okay, but the other nations are still going to be here. I will not make a full end of thee, but I will correct thee in measure. In other words, he ain't going to com completely wipe us out as a nation, but he's going to correct us in measure. And that's what's happening in this truth. We're being corrected in measure. Okay, not to, not to the point of our destruction, in measure. And I will not leave thee altogether unpunished. Okay. For thus saith the Lord Jehovah Shai, thy bruise is incurable. Okay. And thy wound is grievous. Okay. And what's them bruises and wounds? Okay. They're, them afflictions. Okay. The hell we catch. Okay. Which is caused by what? Our sins. There's a scripture where it says the whole head is sick. For thus saith the Lord, thy bruise is incurable, and thy wound is grievous. There is none to plead thy cause, that thou mayest <coughs> excuse me, be bound up. Thou hast no healing medicines. All thy lovers have forgotten thee, all the other nations. They seek thee not, for I have wounded thee with the wound of an enemy, with the chastisement of a cruel one, which Yahweh uses other nations to what? To chastise us. For the multitude of thine iniquity, so it was done because of our iniquity, our sin, our transgression. Because thy sins were increased. Why criest thou for thine affliction? Why, so why are you crying? Why, why are you crying for your affliction? We put ourselves in this condition. Okay. Why criest for thine affliction? Thy soul is incurable for the multitude of thine, what? Of thine, bear me just a minute. For the multitude of thine iniquity, sins, because thy sins were increased. They were ar arisen and have done these things unto thee. I have done these things. So Yahweh is letting us know why he chastised us because of our sins. Okay. Therefore, all, that they, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. Okay. When you devour something, what are you doing? It? Eating it. Consuming it. And these other nations, they have devoured us, especially Esau. And all their adversaries. And that word for adversary goes into shatan. Enemy. Every one of them shall go into captivity. So our enemies are going to go into captivity. Okay. Beginning with Esau and these other nations. And they, shall, and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. Okay. When you spoil something, you're taking it. You're plundering. Okay. Let's quickly go into that word spoil, Baba Kashan. Psalms H, 962. Bazaars. 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 To spoil, to plunder, to prey upon, to seize, to plunder. Ain't this what these nations done? They plundered all, all, all our goods, everything. They besieged Jerusalem. Okay, all these nations had a part in that. Okay, so it says, those that spoil thee, they shall be a spoil. And all that, that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. <coughs> so all these other nations, they're going to be a prey unto us. Okay. All these nations. So let's quickly go to Isaiah. And how do we know who's devouring us? Easy, because we're in captivity. Okay? And when you go into that word in Alexon 
Chaldeans to snatch away, to take away, to pray. Quickly go into Psalms 53 and 4. And it says, have the workers no knowledge. Have the workers of iniquity no knowledge. Who eat up my people to eat means to devour. Okay, see if we can bear me just a minute. Yes, we can get that. Akal, Akal. Strong's H398. Achel, Achel. Achel, Achel. Okay, to devour, to devour, to burn up, to feed, to devour, to slay by the sword, i.e. by the sword. Okay, or by draughts, to be eaten by men, to eat, to devour, to consume, to dine, to devour. Okay, so let's go back to what we were reading, Psalm 53 and 4. Have the workers of iniquity no knowledge, okay, who eat my people as they eat bread. Because if they did have knowledge, they would realise, hold on a minute, this is the heavenly father and his children, his sons, that were devouring. So they have no knowledge because they're doing these things, okay, who eat up my people as they eat bread, okay. And people eat bread on a, what, a regular basis, so... How Esau's treating our people, he's eating them like bread. We're all up in more his system, the prison systems, being murdered, the philosophies. That's how Esau's eating up our people like bread. Okay, they have not called upon the Most High. So Esau he ain't calling upon the Most High because he's the devil, he's proud. Okay, and that's why Yahweh needs to take him out. So we're going to go to Isaiah 14 because the scripture says, Those that are, that are being a spar, I'll make them a spar land to thee. And so forth. So let's go to... Isaiah 14. For the Lord Jehovah will have mercy on Jacob. Okay. So the Lord's going to show Jacob, which the other name is what changed to Israel when he wrestled with the angel, mercy. Beginning with the elect and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And where's that land? Israel. And the stranger shall be joined with them. Okay. Who are these strangers is talking about that are going to be joined with them? These are Israelites. Because the other nations, they can't be drained unto us. So these will have to be Israelites. Okay, you've got false prophets saying, oh, the strangers are talking about the other nations. No, it's not. Okay, and that word for stranger, look it up, it goes into Gah. Gah, which means alien. Okay? That was what, not a part, what, that was not living in Jerusalem. They were known as the strangers. Okay? Shall be drained with them and shall cleave to the house of Israel. For you to cleave, that means you, you really belong to that house that line okay for you to cleave onto it okay to the house of Jacob and the people shall because well, none of these heathens they're not going to be cleaving onto the house of Jacob so these are speaking about Israelites that were scattered in a um, Gentile state form of mind okay and the people shall take them and bring them to their place so who would it who would it see now this is where you've got to cut the line when it says the people shall take them, this is speaking about Israelites. Who are we going to take these other nations and bring them to their place? Okay, the place of what? Their servitude, their captivity. Okay, and the house of Israel shall possess them. So we're going to possess, to possess, that means it belongs to you. A possession belongs to you. In the land of the Lord, you have a shy for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives. A servant and a handmaid is a slave. And shall take them captives who captives they were. Because we're captives right now under Esau. But it's the scripture saying we're going to take them captives. Whose captives we were. Because right now we're captives in this man's what society. But we're free. Through what? Through this knowledge. Okay. But we're going to take them what captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors. So we're going to rule over our oppressors. And who was our oppressor? The main oppressor. Esau, Edom. Okay. And the rest of these nations. Okay. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord Jehovah will give thee rest from sorrow and from thy fear. Okay, because there's nothing but sorrow in this kingdom. Nothing but sorrow, grief, pain. But Jehovah is going to take that all away. And from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. Okay. Because you've got brothers, they're stressed out. Okay, stressed out. They've got to work to nine. Sometimes nine, nine to five. Sometimes it's nine to what? Eleven, nine to ten. Okay, just have enough time to eat and next time you've got to wake up. Next thing you know, you've got two hours to watch videos and you've got to wake up again. That's slavery. Okay, now they, they keep uh, putting up the date, the age where you get your pension. First it was 50, then it was 60, then it goes up again. You know, 
This, that's slavery. That is slavery. The scriptures tell you about when you're working. When um, Jacob was working for who? Laban. His uncle, I believe it was the uncle Laban. It was seven years. Okay. So after you've worked seven years, you're supposed to be set up with your own foundation. So you have enough to what? To build your own. Okay. And really it was 14 years because he, he, he worked another seven years for, um, I forgot the woman's name. I think it was it Rachel. I think it was Rachel. Okay. He worked another seven years for her. Oh, so it's 14. So people, they live in 60 years and they don't even get to get the... Man, this, this is captivity. But let's go to it and the hard bondage with that was made to serve. Okay, so Lord, he's going to deliver us from these things. And thou shalt take up this problem against the king of Babylon and say, how the oppressor sees the golden city siege, which is speaking of America. That's known as that golden city. The Lord had broken the staff of the wicked. Okay, and what does the staff represent? Rulership. And the scepter of the rulers. He who smote the people in wrath may continue stroke. He that ruled the nations. And anger is persecuted and none hindereth. So this man, what is going to be persecuted? Okay, he's going to be grabbed up. Okay, and chucked in a pit and made to serve us for a thousand years. The whole earth is at rest. So even the earth is crying out. Everything has a spirit to it. Even the trees have a spirit. Yes, the trees cry. The trees have energy. Okay. The whole earth is at rest and it's quiet. They break forth into singing. So even the, the, the nature's going to break forth into singing. Okay. Yeah, the fir trees rejoice at thee and the cedars of Lebanon, saying, Since thou art laid down, no feather is come up against thee. The feather is what? Them um, lumberjacks, people that cut the trees down. Okay, and Esau has a habit of doing that, cutting trees that don't even need to be cut down. Okay. And that's what's going to happen. Okay, everything's going to be in peace again. So with this lesson, I hope this was edifying. And until the next time, Shalom.